Hi, welcome to Shelly Studio, and today I'm doing a video for the Creative Arts Collaboration Group hashtag event, and it's called Pogust Art. So obviously that stands for PA and August, even though this is July. They did this uh, um, same hashtag last year. Everybody had so much fun, they wanted to do it again. But since they already had something in August, they fit this one in between um, the two different hashtags, so it ends up in July. But what I am creating is a cat, and it's inspired by Mexican folk art. Mexican folk art um, is really quite graphic and bright, and I think it's really cool. And so I did this one, and I had so much fun that I drew 10 more drawings. They are not colored in, and I've scanned them, and I have uploaded them to the it, my Etsy store. Um, I think I will sell them for like 50 cents a, a download if you are interested in um, coloring along with me. So, yeah, so I'm just doing the outlining and stuff, and then I'll come back with a marker, and I believe I use a thick Sharpie and a thin Sharpie to get the different um, thicknesses just to make it a little bit more interesting and you know I think Mexican folk art um, reminds me a lot of Zen tangling and um, maybe not as precise as um, some Zen tangles I've seen which um, you know. this is moving really fast but I wasn't moving as fast as it seems I did um, speed this up a whole lot so that um, we could make it all the way through. The actual process took me almost two hours to sketch it out and then outline it all and then colorize it. But I had a lot of fun creating it and I hope you enjoy. One thing you don't see me do is after I get it all on here with the marker and let the marker dry, I do erase all the pencil lines so that um, you don't see them anymore and so that it looks more crisp. Now what I'm using to color it and you know if you do decide to do one yourself you can use almost anything depending on the paper you're using. This is just a sketch art journal book, so the paper is kind of thin, so it gets a little wavy when I add water. But these are Faber-Castell um, gel crayons that I found in a toy, toy store in the kids, kids' craft department. 
and I think they're a lot of fun. Oh, and the paintbrush I'm using is a little rigid so that it can push that uh, washable crayon around. And I am dipping it in the water every once in a while so that it'll blend. And I'm just going around random places trying to keep it all balanced, keep the colors, have the colors in every area is all I'm really doing. There's no real rhyme or reason, just trying to keep everything balanced. I have two different greens. I have a regular green and a neon green. I have two different yellows, a regular yellow and a neon yellow. And I want a variety of colors, so I'm using them all.
Now that one you can see the uh, color was a little bit different. It was from a different set, but it's the same sort of thing. And now these are um, just colored markers that I had forever. I'm not sure what brand they were, but they had colors that would work. And I'm just adding some texture to the big areas of color. And I apologize here, my footage does end. I don't know if I, the camera stopped or if I've lost that footage somewhere, but I did go through with a Sharpie poster paint pen and add some white highlights. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like my cat. If you liked it, please hit like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.